Okay, so welcome to part 18 of uh, Persona 5 Royal. So, uh, we left off with uh, meeting Yusuke and Madarama for the first time. I went to his art exhibit and yeah, found out he has a palace. His shack is a palace, basically. But it's a museum, if that makes sense, in the momentous world. I'll just so, we've got to see this. what's around here. And get over the wall. Like so. Yep. <laughs> yep. His ego is as big as his house. That's why we're here, right? Come on, let's go. Let's go check it out. See, he's got the right mind. Uh -oh. What are those? M meant to be police? Hey, some more guards over here. Just the two of us won't be able to, won't be able to, ha won't be able to deal with this crowd. <laughs> oh. This is our chance. It looks like security is focused on the front entrance. That means there'll be less of them elsewhere. Let's go. <laughs> I wouldn't count on it. True. This way. Let's do uh, I forgot the controls. Shit. Uh, menu. System config. Controls. Where's controls? I have something. I should have bought some stuff before. Didn't have a chance to, did we? Ah. I haven't played this before, by the way, I'm just guessing at this point. I mean, it's not too hard to figure out. Wait. I think it might see us, but it doesn't, so... That's a good thing. Ah! Hey! Convenient! But it's a pretty far drop. We'll be able to get back out this way. Probably not. Now's my time to shine. Oh, of course you do have a rope. Why wouldn't you? Of course we do. Well, wait. How suspicious! It's a trap. Oh. Hey, this. It's moving. Come on, we're in the palace. There ain't nothing to be freaking out, freaking out over. Mm, this is. The palace reflects its rulers at heart. We may want to check these paintings out. Why is he so slumped? Hmm? Oh hey, there's some kind of explanation here. Let me see. It's someone's name, Nage. What the hell? That can't be the title of the painting, right? Do you think it's the artist's name? Hmm. Let's check out the other paintings too. I think there might be something important important about them. Whoa, this is creepy. Hey, hey. Oh. This, this has got the name and age on the plaque. Hey. This one has a full name. How many plaques are there? Jeez. Hey, hey. <sighs> I 
That's just what I was saying, it's a bit creepy. Is this It's a painting? What am I meant to do? This doesn't make any sense. Madarame is famous for having a variety of art styles, but all the portraits on display here look the same. This is way different from what was at the. Wait a sec. Ain't this that guy we saw in Mementos? You know, the, the one who was shit talking Madarame? Natsuhiko Nakanohara. His name's written on the plaque. Dude, I don't get it. Why is there a painting of him in here? And more important, why is his name written under it? You're right. Doesn't art usually have, like, the title of the piece or the artist's name? Hmm, this is quite the mystery. All right, let's keep looking around for now. I need to play more murder mystery games. I do have the uh, Sherlock Holmes collection on PC, pretty much. And some on, the, on Xbox as well. I need to play those at, at some point, so... I just love mystery games. Focus. Um, let's see. Isn't that who I think it is? Oh no. Unsigned mug. Huh? What? No way. Hey, isn't this a painting of that guy? It says Yusuke Kitagawa. There's no mistaking it. Huh? Wait a second. What do you think these paintings are? I think you're right. For real? All of them? But it was only Yusuke when we went to his place before. This must include former pupils as well. Only one remains now. Taking into account what that Nakanohara guy said earlier, things are getting clearer. All right, let's keep investigating. We need something to further confirm our deductions. Uh, this way, right? Should be. There's some sort of brochure brochure here. Hmm? What? Find something? Hmm. This is getting way too detailed for a freaking palace. Why do you bother making something like this? Oh. There's a muse museum guide in here. Let's take it with us. Oh yeah. True. Yes. At the very, b at the very least, it should be a good reference for the scale of this place. Huh? But the map only shows half of the museum. <sighs> Wait, no. Skip to Morgana's piece. And two, out of two, it's gotta be around here somewhere, right? 
We can worry about that another time. Right now, we need our objective is confirming Madarama's cognition. We may have to reconsider our plan depending on what we find. I mean, he's got a palace. Seems pretty sketchy to me. True. I like how you can't hard save in, in palaces. That's neat. Neat. Ah. Look at this. The Infinite Spring? A conglomerate work of art that the great director Madarame created with his own funds. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. Those who cannot do so have no worth living? Hey, this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? Damn it, what a phony geezer. In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. This even says that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Madarame will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... He's treating them like slaves or tools! Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? He's got no reason to cover this up! He did say that he owes Madarame his life for being taken in. But still! When we were at the exhibit, I praised one of the pieces on display. But... Kitagawa-kun acted strange. Maybe that piece was plagiarized too. What's the call? Ain't this enough to target Madarame? We should confirm these facts with Yusuke first. Yeah. Confirm what, though? It means we should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. What a pain in the ass. Besides, there's too much we don't know about Madarame yet. Mm, you're right. I'll try contacting Kitagawa-kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. Wait, you're gonna do that? You all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. A famous, renowned artist, huh? Oh, this might be tougher than Kamoshida. Well, we'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. This is our first mission as real Phantom Thieves. We're gonna succeed no matter what! The reason why Yusuke is hiding the truth, huh? Would you really forgive someone unconditionally if you, a, if you owe your life to them? I'm not so sure anymore. What? What are you bringing this up for? According to Kitagawa, can Madarame isn't a problem. Is something wrong? I mean, I know Madarame is, still a, bad, is a bad person, but still. But still, maybe I'm so hesitant because I haven't actually met any of these victims. Yeah, I guess that part's totally different from what I what happened in, with Kamoshida. This might be an extreme line of thinking, but if an evil person isn't causing any trouble now, is there really a point of us stepping in? You got a point. If it were me, I'd never forgive that bastard. Of course it's you. Of course you wouldn't it's you. I guess we could talk some more after that. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's meet in Shibuya after school tomorrow. I should Easy. Write something. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, great help. Well then. Hey, 
It's me. I just can't forgive Madarame, but what Aunt said made me think. To Yusuke, are we just a bunch of thugs? You don't know either, huh? It ain't like he thinks it is. It pisses me off just thinking about it. Good people have to put up with so much crap while, while shitty adults do whatever they want. Makes me sick. I'm not wrong, am I? Oh yeah. Don't tell on I called you, by the way. Uh, seriously. Well, see you tomorrow. Cover yourself in paint. Really? Really? You don't gotta go all out for this. True. You're only doing it, doing it, uh, you're only doing it so you can get dirt on mud around me. Remember? That is true. It sounded like Kitagawa can... That's so, such a difficult name to say. Kitagawa kun it wants this to be a private picture of his, of his though. Oh no. Well, I guess I'll let you guys know when I, when he contacts me again. Kitagawa kun. Kitagawa. <laughs> I got a response from Kitagawa kun. He said he wants me to come to school today. Jesus Christ. Perfect. Probably dropped all his plans just to get you over there. We need to find out from Kitagawa kun if what we saw in the palace was true. Hey, quiet down. It's that student council president. Yikes. She got hold of Mishima today? It'd suck if she noticed us. Come on, let's split up. Okay, see you later. We finally landed a big target. Come on. Let's get some dirt on Matarame. But man, Han's late. Sorry. I was thinking about some things and didn't notice how much time had passed. Thinking about what? Don't you think Kitagawa kun has to be protecting Matarame? I mean, they live together, so he'd have to be aware of Matarame's true nature. The only reason I can think of him doing that is that Matarame has something on him. Yeah, that's weird. But that's why we're going to check it out, right? You ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm prepared. What do you mean prepared? Prepared for what? Something seemed different about her to you? Oh, nice eye. I didn't cut them. Huh. Well, let's get going. We gotta talk to Yusuke. Awkward. <laughs> Kitagawa kun seemed really happy when I agreed to be his model. Once he finishes drawing and gets a little friendlier, we should bring up Matarame. I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki-san. Wouldn't you get nervous too, if it was just the two of us? We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? Stop making such odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Huh? Is there a problem? No, not really. Well then, let's get started. Hey! Kitagawa-kun? You hear her? It's no use. This isn't what we planned. We were gonna catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? How were we supposed to know this was gonna happen? Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What an effing pain in the ass. Perhaps I should try going outside this room. Hmm. 
Who do you think you're talking to? This is too boring, so I'm going to scout around a bit. It's weird how flashy that door is. And is that a lock? A door with a hefty lock. What could be in there? <sighs> it's Are a door done? with a lock on it. It's no good. What? I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. This again. And that painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually painted it, right? That's... I knew it. Your sensei's seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You couldn't go against him, could you? I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Dude, still. <sighs> Hitago-kun. Then why are you sticking around? All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Hold it! We're not done talking here! Then you leave me with no choice. Hey! I'm reporting you to the police. I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. What the F, man? Yuji, stop it! Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you, but only under one condition. What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. But you said that it wasn't working out today. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you are willing to bear everything to me, I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever! Whoa! What? There it goes. Nude? Ah. Uh, to think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model. Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some... inconveniences. Nude? Meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? Because those are my terms. But that's... Wait, ain't that bad? Since he is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely, I should buy more art supplies. Will you give me a second here? Uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans, but please come before the exhibit ends. No, that's not what I mean! Why are you not listening? Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. No, no, no! We are not done talking here! Hey, what should we do? Uh, yeah, we have to leave. Yeah, damn it. He got us good this time. 
Don't give up so easily! Huh? Is she done being a model? Cat? You moron! <laughs> He's totally out of his mind! I'm gonna have to pose nude if this keeps up! How dare that, Yusuke! The way he said it, it's not gonna be semi but full on nude. Uh, 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 full nudity? Uh, Lady On's gonna. Drop it! You know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. But Kitagawa-kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? Then, Lady On, you're fine with bearing it all? I am not! Madarame's no different from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke who doesn't have parents. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? No. It is frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa-kun is fine with it himself. You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself, with Kamoshida. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses too. Before he ends up like us. Right. We need to look into Madarame first. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet too. It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. Kitagawa-kun said there'd be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? Oh, yeah. It might not show your face. Any better about it? We must deal with Madarame, no matter what, before his exhibit ends. Let's start after school tomorrow. Oh, it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again, so. Uh, where to meet up? Let's see. I guess that walkway like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Madarame's place, too. Changing our hideout periodically, huh? That's a plan I don't mind backing. I feel like I made all the wrong choices there, Fern. <laughs> uh, this room is gonna go horribly. No. Oops. <laughs> Anywho. Oh shit. Huh? Oops. From the looks of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stocking fans. Uh, oh no, it's Makamoto oh, again. Sorry, I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. But oh no, it's the other one, isn't it? It was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. It's, have um, you heard anything about that? Her sister thingy. Oh, who is it? Who is it now? I've got a name. Never mind. We'll find out soon. Me? I don't know nothing. I see. There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. I'm a journalist. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? See you then. I guess we should go home for today. True. <sighs> I still can't forgive him. Demanding to paint Lady Anne nude and claiming to report us to police. Yeah, that's a pretty uh, big claim there. Hey, it's me. Got a minute? I have some interesting news. Oh no, not Mishima. Someone who received a change of heart contacted me on the fan site. Huh? What? 
Said he wants to meet with you to discuss another person who needs a change of heart. Another? You're better off talking to him in person if you want specifics. Another! 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 What? Another! All the I know is, is his target is a terrible button. person. Hmm. And that it might complicate things if he posted the name online. True. I'll have him wait for you at Shibuya Station after school. The guy's name is Nakanohara. Why are there so many, um... What's it called? Syllables with the same letter. Nakanohara. See what I mean? Nakanohara. I don't get it. Names in this game are weird. Nakanohara. That's Matarame's student. I told him to approach you. Wait, what? Good luck. It was? How did I miss that? I found something insane about Madarame. Okay, what was it? Sounds like a student of his off... Ooh. Offered himself when he couldn't speak up. About Madarame sitting his work. Is that true? That journalist was looking into Madarame too. True. Could be real. Someone died though. No one's talk about it. I bet it was covered up. I wonder if Kitagawa can has heard anything. Uh, I keep scoring too much. It could be great if he helped us out. Ain't asking a bit much. After today, he's probably going to be out on edge about us. Anyway, my drive is still a piece of crap. Let's meet up tomorrow. It's for our first time at the new hideout. Okay. It's a uh, passageway in Shibuya, right? Right. If the rumor Ryuji just spoke of is true, there have to be other victims. I should write something. Save the game. I can't tell you. Oh! Actually, we need to help out, um... Rogero, don't we? Yeah. Don't trust people so easily. When push comes to shove, they'll stab you in the back. You hear? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh. What is it? This kind of the rock to reports. Sports world, everyone ever involved with him is being press for answers. The Volleyball Association is currently considering banning him permanently and... Hey, hey. Drummed out the Volleyball Association, huh? Well, he deserves it. Of course he deserves it. Hey, hey. No! Hey, hey. Don't repeat. Yeah, something to do. Well then. Dude, schools finish at half four, half four in Japan. That's wild. We finish at three here in the UK. Half four would be mad, like high school. How did you understand what high school? Are they serious? Yo, we're about to head to the hideout too. Who's that? Excuse me. That's Nakanohara. Nishima told us to meet him here in Shibuya today. For real? My name is Nakanohara. Natsuiko Nakanohara, the one who was posted about on the Phantom Aficionado website. He seems pretty nice. Doesn't seem like the stalker type. I think the change of heart must have worked. 
The administrator of that website contacted me. They told me to look for someone in a Shujin uniform with a cat. So, what do you want? You may have already heard, but there's someone I wish to trigger a change of heart in. An artist by the name of Madarame. <gasps> you think this is it? Is the pupil gonna confess his master's secrets? His shadow did mention Madarame as well. I'm one of Madarame's former pupils. He gave me lodging at his home, where I thought only about art. I genuinely wanted to be an artist. There was another pupil as well, a very talented man, multiple years my senior. Obviously, Madarame kept tabs on him. Everything he made was claimed as a Madarame original. He wasn't the only victim, though. Right, we got some real proof of the plagiarism. In response to Madarame's actions, that senior pupil committed suicide. Suicide? He must have been unable to bear seeing his work praised under Madarame's name. That was when I disobeyed Madarame's orders and left, but he quickly pressured other parts of the art world, and my life as a painter was destroyed. I tried to turn over a new leaf working at a ward office, but it was no use. My attachment to art warped my emotions. Soon, I began getting attached to everything. In the end, I even turned into a stalker. <laughs> I'd like to ask again. Please, make Madarame have a change of heart. Not only for me. It's to save the life of another man as well. Even now, there's still one young man remaining under Madarame's tutelage. I think he's about your age. That has to be Yusuke. Not only is he a talented artist, he also owes Madarame for taking him in after his mother passed. He is the perfect target. So Yusuke's got no choice but to listen. I actually spoke to him a few times back when I was still living at Madarame's. I asked him if he found it painful to stay with Madarame. And you know what he said? If I could leave, I would. Kitago Akun. I have no right to say this given my prior cowardice, but I don't want to see another suicide. I'd like to find a way to save this young man. He has a bright future ahead of him. Please consider that when thinking about changing Madarame's heart. We've been asked to act directly on behalf of one of Madarame's victims. It sounds like we don't have the time to deliberate whether or not to change Madarame's heart. Let's save Yusuke. Come on, let's do it. Hell yeah! Madarame's just a piece of shit who preys on the weak! Suicide. I'll never let something like that happen. Plus, we finally got to hear how Kitago Akun really feels. Well, since we've reached a unanimous decision, how about we continue this at our new hideout? My fellow thieves, welcome to our new hideout. Our target this time is Madarame. We all saw that palace. We'll pay dearly if we assume it's just going to be like the last one. Furthermore, Lady An's chastity is on the line. What? We'll need to do what we did with Kamoshida. First, we secure an infiltration route in the palace. After that, we send our calling card. Once the treasure has materialized, we steal it. Oh, oh, I got a question. Uh, Madarame doesn't know that we were doing stuff in the palace yet. Why are we already getting treated like criminals in there? You're learning, Ryuji. Well done. It must be because he doesn't trust anyone. Any unknown person may as well be an enemy. Or maybe he's just super salty from all those rumors that have been spreading about him. Then his palace being so crazy had nothing to do with us? Either way, we should stay on our best behavior. It'll be harder for us to steal the treasure if we needlessly increase the security level. We need to be careful of Kitagawa-kun this time, too. I'm sure that whatever he sees will just get passed on to Madarame. That's right. Hey, what is Madarame's treasure going to look like anyway? Another crown? I doubt that, but my sixth sense will know when I see it. Oh yeah, you go completely nuts, huh? 
Our time limit is when the exhibit ends, right? That means June 5th. We'll carry out the plan after we've sent out the calling card. So our infiltration route will need to be set in stone two days prior on June 2nd. Now listen here. We can't mess this up, no matter what, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. It's time to get this mission started. Yes, it is indeed. Okay, on. Do you mind not doing that pose, please? Let's do it. Let's save first. Good hiding place, by the way. No teachers around. Now then. Top of the truck. Focus. No, not you, not again. Come inside. We've much to discuss. So, you've come. Your re rehabilitation seems to go smoothly. It's been tough. <laughs> Has it now? Oh shit. Use his power well. Traits. Some may decrease the cost of a skill or increase the power of a specific attribute. There are some. There are various benefits associated with using a Persona's trait in battle. Be sure to take into account which actions you will, uh, will best utilize the trait. You can view the details of a Persona's trait in the Persona's data screen by pressing X. Okay. Shed cheers. Cheers? Tears of joy, to you, inmate. <laughs> Tears, oh, cheers, yes. anything. They come in all manner of shapes and sizes. You must master the inner workings of your of each persona to draw out its power. To do do that, and they will surely be of great use to, to, to you on your journey to rehabilitation. Then. Why did we have to rehab? We didn't do anything wrong. Do you have business with me? Done already? What? No slacking off. Familiar with Funder up. I can't speak today, Jesus. Familiarize yourself with the many facets of the heart that dwell in you. That dwell in you. Doing so will propel, your, propel you to greater heights and give you strength as you work towards your rehabilitation. Rehabilitation. There you go. Go forth. I have high expectations for you. Do you now? Okay, okay, calm down. Come on. I know, I know. How does she not see them? I'll just add this. Here we gotta save as well. Uh BLB as well. Hold up.
Okay, let's go. Come on, then. Shit. There's a lot more enemies this time, I think. How does he not see us? No. Easy peasy. I can see it. Is there one over here? No, there isn't. I need the lasers. Come on, man. <clears throat> holding A. Oh, it's holding A. Okay. Oh. Come on, Roji. <clears throat> Yo, there's actually a lot. I've done this a while, let's do it, but we can still do it. What? Only one of seven. Some money. Oh, so I'll never do that again. Ten dollars, I think that is right. <laughs> One K yen. Hmm, nice work, team. Okay, seems about right. Ready? How does that set it up? I don't know how that was a trip. Oh. You're there, right? Show me your true form. Oh well. Yo. Great. Ready. 
Ravage them! You're so gorgeous, people. What are you doing to me? Yeah, 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 Go ahead. Your power is incredible, Joker. Oh, I know. Okay. You have to tell me. Ah, oh, shit. I have something. Yo. Okay. They're here too. All of a sudden. Don't know how, but we are. I can feel it. Okay, and don't get triggered too much. We need you. Uh oh. These drums sound like the um, Rock Soul theme. Like it's one of his very first ones. Like the drums sound so similar. Oh! Open the chest. Oh, that for a cutlass. Hey. Yep. Security will probably get a little bit more fierce as well. Make sure you don't touch anything or run into any of the sprays, alright? Why do you think she's looking at you, Roji? Is there a safe room in this palace? Oh, there is. Doesn't look like there is one yet. There we go. Ah, there is one. Noise. Hey, first exhibit room. I think we're gonna be able to come right back here if we wanna. I forgot about the fast shovel. Let's do it. Uh, so, okay. So I'm gonna mark it here for part 18, wasn't it? Yeah, part 18. I'm gonna come back for part 19, obviously. So yeah. Uh, BLB. I'll see you in the next part. Peace.